Ready, go. Ready, go. So this is the front of you here. Go. So what we see is um, at the beginning of the back swing, you're pushing your hand left a little bit. And then with that, you're starting the back swing. And here, here, if you look at your right elbow, it's completely behind your back. Okay? That means that your right arm is going backward too much. And uh, so uh, the back swing becomes quite flat. Yeah? You're going backward like this. Too much rotation. And, yeah, and then it's going back here. So instead of uh, keeping the arm in front of your chest here. So you have a lot of uh, motion like this here. It's called horizontal, horizontal abduction for the shoulder, but you have a lot of motion here. The size of the axiom is reasonable, and then your body posture is reasonable. And then as a result, what happens is uh, as soon as you start the downswing, from here you're pulling this down. Clavet was high up here. Look at the motion of the clavet. Yeah, it's going high up here. Then what happens if the, the clavet goes away from your body early, it makes a large arc here, and it comes in closer. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have a uh, slight um, chicken wing type posture at, at impact here. And then, so it club goes away from your body early, come to here, and you're turning like this, as what you're doing. Instead, keep the club closer here, come down and then let it go, extend it here, and then the, the hand should be away from your body, and then go and finish it here, instead of let it go, lifting everything up here. So in general, right elbow should be kept tight. Or more going that way instead of going backward too much. Yeah. So you're, you're basically keeping it here, and then when the thousand starts, you just pull it. Here. Then when this happens, your swing plane becomes outward because you're coming down here and then let go outward. So then the down the line view here. Go. Part of the reason why uh, you lose balance when you have uh, active action is because it's going backward too much. Your body has to move backward. But if you have good balance, you have just a turn, you're going to this position. But if you try to move it backward here, try to put it on the shoulder like this, with this active action, then you move it. So, again, from here, you see, it's here. So basically, your arm is aligned along the shoulder line here. It's too long. Too long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, some people uh, say this is a uh, one place swing, but uh, this is too long actually. So too the, flat. The, the arm is going along the shoulder line because, because your right arm is here. So here, yeah, a bit, a bit higher, and then you also here your right arm is on this side instead of going back here. This is uh, actually an uh, uncom uncomfortable body posture. And then, so as soon as you start the downswing, you see how high the clavet goes up here. So you lose a lot of speed here because of this. When, when your arm is uh, in front of here, you can drop this and then throw on this side here. Because it's back here, it's hard to do anything here. So all you do is just go up and then pull it down. The club goes up. The club moves away from your body, 
then the total uh, warm diminution of the body increases. So for the same effort, you cannot generate enough uh, rotation and acceleration. So in general, I need to be taking the foot. Yeah, more like that. Here. And then, and, and then instead of uh, instead of uh, doing uh, doing it, uh, you know, in the in the per, uh, in the perspective of posture, think about the continuous motion. If you have motion like this, and then let it go, it will go. But it will hit. So uh, the main thing is uh, the the basic pet. It's going to flat him. Then, you see how, how much the hands is coming down here. It's coming. Hmm. It's all because of the handle position. Okay. You, you don't have any choice. Unless you turn around here and then letting it go this way. Okay? If you go to this position here, just a turning around, then it's a different. But usually, when you go here and you try to pull it down, then this happens. So, what I'm really saying is too far back here, more this is line. So, we will we'll practice that. Don't worry about it. We will we'll practice that. And then here, so if you look at the finished position here, left arm is not doing much. Left arm is a just uh, flexed like this. The right arm is going like this. Instead of throw here, and the ball going this way. Yeah. So you are pulling this down and then let the club head go here, making large arc here, and on this side here, going into this place. This is really uncomfortable. But more than anything, you have to feel the motion of the club here. Okay? Relax your wrist and then feel the motion of the club so that it really let go. Okay? So that's a, uh, the, the problem. For the elbow motion in the back swing, one way to, to think about it is in the setup position, put your left hand underneath your elbow here. And then image a plane starting from the ball and then passing through the hand here. In other words, uh, the middle section of your trunk. So this hand actually shows the, the swing plane thing. And then from there, when you do the back swing, maintain this plane here. Maintain this plane and turn, you see? So this plane is still pointing the, the ball here. And then all you do is uh, flip it here. Flip the hand and the turn. This is where your arm should be. In the back second. So in other words, in other words, have this motion, continuous motion here, continuous motion, and then you're continuing this motion to this position here. And then my left hand shows the swing plane here. Here, here, swing, 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 and then continue this and then put yeah, put the hand. Right here, this is the swing plane, right? This is your elbow position. So your elbow follows that line. Then, if your elbow is here, on the way down, nothing will obstruct motion of the arms. So the bottom line is, in order to, in order to have a good swing motion, nothing, nothing should interfere with the arm motion and the club motion, right? And it's, uh, instead of well, here, instead of just lifting this, image the continuous motion here. You are continuing this motion and then going to this position. So for that, more keep it about here. Then your hand goes continuous motion to this position. But when you when you actually hold the club, it's uh, even easier to feel it because you need to uh, maintain this club motion here. Swing, 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 and then let it go to this position. Then all you do is uh, turning your body about the spine axis. You're not lifting the arm high up 
for lowering this or bringing accessibility back here. Just to maintain this motion here, going through this position. From here, if you come down, nothing will need to feel. So so was, <coughs> my arms are not taking me to this position. My legs are, right? So your, your, your body, body position is good. Your body position is good. But you have the tendency of going this way. If you change this, then it will be a lot more comfortable. The posture will be a lot more comfortable. On the way down, you don't have to worry about it going into out. If you're not dropping here. Because your hand is already located here. On the way down, you just pull it down. That's why this happens. But if your hands are here, and then it's not interfering with the, the body motion or vice versa, you just let it go. So, that's why we use the faster motion here. When you have a faster motion in the backswing, then it's impossible to go here. Then this happens. So unless you intentionally alter the motion, then the faster motion just will bring you here. Right? So, this, this position is not determined by the posture here, but rather determined by the motion of the stick here, or the end of the club. Because you want to move this continuously to this position here, the arm goes here. So you are not lifting the arm up or going down, just have the image, image of spine axis here. About the spine axis, you are just turning the body about the spine axis. Turn around, so make the end of the stick move around the axis. Like this. Then you are here. So you have to naturally find that position. Okay? But you're saying don't think about it. If I have the correct action, motion, just the motion. Just the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why we, we practice the step tricks using the trigger motion. So hold, hold it with both hands. And then let's go to a stage three of two-step swing drills. So uh, you are throwing the club this way first. And then from there, you have active back swing all the way. From here, all the way here. Mm -hmm. Still you're going here. So it's not using, wait, wait, wait. And also here, no, you are using the arms here. You bring this up using your arm motion. Instead, let's say you keep your arms against your chest here, that means you will not be able to use the arms that much. But if you just turn your body, then this is what happens. You can already have this much motion here without even using the arms. So you need to learn how to use the body to create this much range of motion first. And then by Flexing the elbow, you'll be able to add motion a little bit. But in your case, what happens is this is going up like this. The elbow is lifted. Instead, turn the turn, turn using the body turn here, and then going up. So keep the arms against your chest, but turn the body around. Uh, still, you're using, still you're using arms here. Do not use the arms here. You're turning, you're turning the whole upper body okay, using these muscles. Do not try to use the arms here. You're turning the whole upper body by using the legs and the pelvis motion here. Okay. Here, keep the arms quiet here. And then go up. So the motion has to come from the body turn and then add your elbow flexion here. And then, uh, and then all the way down here, you're hitting the ground. That means uh, it's not consistent here. If uh, your goal is to move around here, swing, swing, slide over the T like this, instead of hitting here, so, you have to control the motion about the spine axis 
and the hip consistent motion back and forth. And then at the end, in the back swing, just to flex the elbow a little bit, lift the hands a bit higher. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. It's going here and then you're lifting higher. Okay, okay just a sec. Um, mm, it's the arm action here. You're, you're trying to. Look at this, look at this. You are bring this arm up here and then try to push it. Bring it up and then push it. Instead, instead, instead. Instead of bringing this up and then try to push it here. Just to try to have the image of turning around, turning around, turning around, turning around. So in the back swing, just give more turn this way instead of try to just to bring this up and then try to worry about the next one. Just to turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. But here, let's use the email here. In this one, you have to keep your arms straight. Okay? Do not flex it here. Just keep it straight. And try to throw this, throw this, throw, have this bouncing action, throw, throw, using the legs, and maintain the plane. Uh, still you're using your arms. <laughs> you have strong arms. That, that's why, uh, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Relax your arms. We'll keep it straight, but relax. On your holding it here. Your arm is not lifting this. Instead, from here, throw this up, throw this up, throw, throw. It's a pendulum motion here. Pendulum motion. Throw, throw. So that when it goes up here, we are not using arms much. Just holding it. Pendulum motion. Easy pendulum motion. And then, what, one thing happening is that on this side you are flexing your elbow, yeah? and on this side you try to lift it up here. It's because of your golf swing. This is, this is not a golf swing. You have to, you have to come out of that uh, style here, okay? So in the back swing here, in the both ways, try to maintain almost a symmetric motion here. So, the uh, relax, relax, relax arms. You're not intentionally lifting here. Just a throw, 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 throw. Do not, do not, uh, do not flex the elbow. Throw, throw, throw. Feel the pendulum motion. Hmm. On the left side, you're not flexing the elbow here. Why are you flexing this elbow here in the back side? Yep. Just throw both ways. And actually turn this way a bit more. Turn this way a bit more. Yep. So already in your swing, you are biased to uh, this way and then this way. Okay? So you have to reprogram this. So in, in the back swing, go more laterally. And then in the down swing, turn this way more. Hmm. And it's not, it's not intentional arm motion, just the pendulum motion. Throw, 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 throw. And then keep the gaze, keep the gaze, keep the gaze on one point so that you don't lose the balance. Right. Keep the gaze on, oh, right there. on the fixed yeah. point so that you can, you can maintain the balance. So now, okay, start, and you have that feel, and then watch me doing here, and see if uh, what I do and then what you feel are the same. Okay.
Just the leg actually, the throw, throw, throw. This, then what your body needs to do is just to maintain consistent plane here. The main drive is coming from the leg actions, and then you use the arms and the body to maintain the consistency here. Okay, now, now. Now when you do uh, the, when you do uh, swing the stick, okay, try to bring the arm as high as possible. Not lifting this way, but maintain this motion, and let it go all the way. Okay. So instead of coming here, and lifting the elbow here, just let the end of the, end of the stick go all the way here, and your elbow, it's lifted a bit more. Okay? So maintain this motion here. Your goal is to move, to maintain the end of the stick motion all the way here, instead of dictating it with your... Okay, if I just try it with my right hand first, because that's the problem. Do you think or do you want to hold it? Right hand, right hand, go. So use the trigger motion. Ah, wait, 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 wait. On the way down, no need to push it down. Here, go up here, and you're turning the body, and then let it go. Turn, turn the body, instead of using, oh, no, 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 no. You're using your arm intentionally to do this. Just to turn the body, and then turn the body, turn the body, and then turn the body, instead of using arms. You have to turn the body about the spine axis. Mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. You're using arms. You're using the arms. Keep the arms relative, relatively still to the body. If you just uh, turn the whole body, the arm turns this much here. Turn the shoulder instead of try to use the arms here. Turn the shoulders. Turn the shoulders. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, on the way down, you always try to push this. So what you do is uh, pushing this here. So, the back swing, turn the body, turn the body here, and from here, turn your shoulder and then throw the, turn the shoulder and then throw the arms in the, and then close. So again. Ah. And, and, and wait, 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 wait. So your back swing goes high here. Your down swing goes, goes only this much. Here. You are pushing and stopping here. Pushing and stopping here. Instead, here. Swing through, swing through, swing through all the way. So let's have continue, continuous swing. Okay? Swing through all the way. Your right arm is too dominant, so what happens is if you come here and then it goes like this. You keep using your right arm. Swing, and then. so this is not doing much. So let's use the left arm only. And then you're using the wrist and the forearm nicely here. Do not, do not flex the arm too much. Okay? Keep it almost straight and then use the wrist and forearm to generate this motion. No need to lift it like this. So let go nicely. At the end, you can flex the elbow here. So the motion should be nice and flowing here. You're using your, your arm in the track too. Like this. Instead, throw, throw the end. So your goal is to move the end point fast here. It's not about lifting your arm. We talked about earlier with them. When you do the rope, rope swing here, it's not about moving the arms or not. Rather, you need to move the rope, right? The same thing. 
Here, the main thing is the end of the stick motion here, fast motion like this, instead of using your arm here. Core is to let it go. Let it go. Use the wrist. Mm -hmm. But here, at the end, no need to hold it. Let go all the way. Let go all the way. Yeah, do not fight. You are using arms only. You are not turning shoulder at all. No, no, no. You are not turning shoulder at all. You are just using arms here. Turn the shoulder. Turn the shoulder. Mm -mm. It's, a, it's a complete arm motion here. Look at this. Currently what you're doing is instead turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, turn the shoulder, and then do not fight at the end. Let it go all the way. Let it go all the way, nicely and finish. Come back, the same thing. Let it go, come back, let it go. But the turn is coming from the shoulder turn. It's not about your arm motion. Here. No, no, here your arm is going all the way, going all the way, and then try to bring this with your arms. That's why you are hitting the ground. Look at this, look at this. If your goal is to just turn it around the spine axis here, let it go, bring it back, and then let it go, bring it back, let it go. Happening here. You are doing this. Turn the shoulders nicely. Relax here. Relax the wrist here. Okay. Relax the wrist. And then just turn the shoulder and throw. Turn the shoulder and throw. Even here, here, you are letting the club go here and then supporting it this way instead of pulling this up with your arm. Turn it around. Turn it around. Turn it around. Let it go around your body. Turn, turn, the, turn the shoulders enough, turn the shoulders enough. So why? So an image that somebody is holding your hair is here. So the head, the top of the head cannot move much, but you can turn enough here. Turn the shoulder enough. And swing. And try to make it as symmetric as possible both ways. So instead of imaging it as a swing, golf swing, you're just a swing this back and forth. Back and forth. Swing, 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 swing. So in the back swing, your goal is to throw this out and then let it go as much as possible instead of just lifting this up here. It's not, in the back swing, it's not lifting this up here, but rather throw this around your body. You have to let the end of the stick go around your body. Throw, throw this way, and then throw this way, throw this way, throw this way. Okay. Turn uh, here, and then instead of having direct gaze to the ball, if your face is, has direct gaze, your shoulder cannot turn. That's why you have this motion here. You have to go this way. Turn the face about 45 degrees. So in the using peripheral vision, you're watching the, the ball here, gazing the ball. So you have to let the face turn. With that, you will have more shoulder turn. Mm -hmm. The this side the same. Swing and then let go all the way here. You have to turn the shoulder. Because you're not turning the shoulder, you're stopping. Uh, you're stopping. And, and, and you're stopping here. So push and then stop here. Instead, swing through and turn. 
Yes, yes. Then in the back swing, the same thing, turn the shoulder enough. I think uh, this, this came from his uh, direct gaze. Because you try to gaze on the ball directly here. With this, when you turn, shoulder is, lim shoulder is limited. And then, then your back swing is limited here. Then in order to increase the back swing size, you decide to go this way. Okay? Yeah, and then you have to really turn the shoulder line about 90 degrees here. When the shoulder is turned enough, then everything becomes easier here. When your shoulder turns enough, and then you have a peripheral vision, using the peripheral vision, gauge the ball, you see? Then your arms are here, the club is here. So you have to let the shoulder turn in the back side. If you don't turn the shoulder, shoulder stops about here, you have direct gaze, then you're bringing this back by uh, using the arm. Here. So turn, turn the shoulder enough during the back swing. Or the end. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then in the down swing, let the, let the end go. Let the end go. Yeah. Do not fight. Uh, uh, still doing this. Yes, that's why it's coming down here, here, here. Go up here and then just uh, swing through all the way. Okay, now let's go to um, the club swing. <laughs> 